know how well you guys can see this. I totally have Groot socks on though. And it says, I am Groot on the side. This is the best socks I've ever seen in my entire life. Welcome to Thursday. 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 I was very excited when we got home because I was able to come inside and, and we forgot to turn the heat off today so it's been nice and warm in here. <laughs> it's very what? nice and warm in here and it's very cold outside but I had packages. Oh my gosh, it's so cold outside. This morning I woke up. In the mail. Woo! Package. And it was 24 degrees and then I cried myself back to sleep. Actually, before we open the books, why don't you open this? This is Wait, from... this is a Christmas present though. Oh, should we put it on the tree? Yeah, unless you want to open the other Christmas present right now too. No, I'll put it on the tree. Okay. Put a bow on it though. Wait, it's let me get a bow for it. It's from my sister. I my sister, Amber, and the Here Spencer family. Watch. Here we go. Present. But Chris got something else exciting that Wait. he's already talked about. Woo! Book package, but my parents sent us a Christmas card. <laughs> okay. They've come to slay this. That's not how that works. I've never used a letter opener before. Mm -hmm. Like that? No. Oh, yeah, there you go. We didn't really get it on camera. It's the first time I've ever used a mail opener. A mail opener? Letter opener. Letter opener. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Happy holidays. Dear Christopher and Giselle, wishing you a holiday season filled with joy and special moments. With love, mom and dad. Looking forward to spending Christmas with you. Yeah. We'll be there a week from tomorrow. Wow, Thank you guys. That's awesome. Christmas is only like, 10 days away. All right, so books. You can use the mail opener for this. Letter opener. Package opener at this, this point. Well, Wait. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily use it for that one, but okay. Just because it's a bubble. One I've, got, I've got to use. That's why I wouldn't use it because now there's some sort bubbles in there. Well, anyway, so this is from. Um, I don't remember who this is from. Who is this from? What publisher is this from? This is from Simon and Schuster. Oh, this is not the book that I thought it was, actually. In fact, it is much thicker than the book I thought it was going to be. He thought it was two books. Because I do have two books coming from FSG. FSG. This is from uh, Simon & Schuster, but it's from their imprint. I can't remember what imprint this is from. I thought it was from Oregon. Oh, no, it's, it might be from Saga. I think it's from Saga. So, it's Book Burners uh, by Max Gladstone. It's a collection of stories. And it has some other stories by the people. Max Gladstone, Margaret Dunlap, Mer Lafferty, which I just got a book from her the other day, and Brian Francis Slatterly. So I haven't read a book by any of these people, but I do have lots of Max Gladstone on the shelf to read next year. And uh, so from what I can tell, it's like a series of stories that I think are all like connected to one another. Uh, it's There's like a thing in here that says like episode one. So it's like all the stories have uh, episode numbers, I think. Yeah, so all the stories have episode numbers, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different stories in here. And so I'm not entirely sure what this is all about, but I saw it and thought it looked pretty awesome, and uh, decided to ask for it. So it says, Do you dare to open this book? Sal Brooks, police detective and long-suffering big sister, is used to getting her brother Perry out of tough spots, but this is the first time he's been possessed by a demon. Magic is real. It lurks in ancient books, waiting for the evil or unwary to release it into the world. And Perry's adventure in rare book collecting has taken a demonic turn for the worse. To save him, Sal joins a secret Vatican anti-magic squad, Team 3 of the Societas Liberum Occultorum, dedicated to saving people from the monsters beyond our world and the humans who try to release those monsters from the books in which they're bound. Team 3's enemies call them the book burners, and they don't like the name. So, it's about magic books. I think it comes out in uh, January. January 2017. Anyway, I'm happy to have that. And like I said, I thought it was a different thing, but that's okay. That means just I have more books coming very soon. 